Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2023. This is the solution video to paper one, question one. So paper one, question one is an algebra question. So the first part of question one, find the two values of m, an element of or, for which the absolute value of five plus three m is equal to 11. So the simplest way to do this is to split it up as five plus three m equals 11 and five plus three m equals minus 11. So here you get three m is equal to 11 minus five is six, so m is equal to two. And here you'll get three m is equal to minus 11 minus five is minus 16. So m is equal to minus 16 over three. Out of the 30 marks available for that question, that was worth 15 after the adjustments to the marking scheme came into effect. For part B then, you were asked to express K in terms of H and J, and this is your little equation here, one over H is equal to K over J plus K. So it's just manipulating the formula to get K on its own. The first thing I would do is cross multiply to get J plus K is equal to HK. Then you want to get everything with a K on its own on one side, and then everything without a K on the opposite side. So I'll say K minus HK is equal to minus J. Factorize out the K to get K times one minus H is equal to minus J. And then divide across by one minus H. So K is equal to minus J divided by one minus H. You may have got a slightly different answer which was acceptable. You could have brought the minus outside and said J over one minus H, or you could have said that it was J over H minus one. All of them will give you the same marks, and the marks for that part was 10 out of a possible 30 after the adjustments were made. On to part C then, the final part, which was a long division question, um, and a difficult enough question Divide, this is a factor of this, so you divide this into that, but we're asked to find the values of P and the values of OR when we do it. So we're gonna start with our long division. So it's X squared minus P X plus one, dividing into this. And I'm just gonna add in a zero X squared. So it's gonna be into X cubed plus zero X squared. That's gonna make it just a bit neater and easier for me minus 2x minus 3 or. So we'll do our long division. x squared into x cubed goes x times. Multiply down, you're going to get x cubed minus px squared plus x. Change the sign of everything. That's a minus, that's a plus, that's a minus. They cancel. 0x squared plus px squared is px squared. Minus 2x minus x is minus 3x. And then we bring down our minus three or, and we start again. X squared into PX squared goes P times, so it's plus P. Multiply down P by X squared is PX squared. P by minus PX is minus P squared X. And then P by minus, or P, P by plus one is plus P. Change the signs, minus, plus, minus, they'll cancel minus 3x plus p squared x, the way you'll write that is p squared minus three in brackets times x. And then here we just have minus three or minus p. Now we're told that this is a factor. So if we did our long division and we did it properly, we should usually get zero down here. So let's assume that we did it properly. This should be equal to zero. What we do is we let the first part equal to zero and then we let the second part equal to zero and we solve. So the first part, um, we don't put the x in, just p squared minus three is equal to zero. p squared is equal to three. So p is equal to plus and minus root three. We're told in the question that p has to be less than zero. So we don't accept the positive value. We just say p is equal to minus root three. So we can pop that down there, minus root three. And then to get our OR value, we have minus three OR minus P equal to zero. We know P is minus root three. So it's minus three OR minus minus root three 
is equal to zero. So that's just plus root three minus three or plus root three is equal to zero. Uh, or is to one side, numbers to the other side, we end up with three or is equal to root three. Divide by three then, get or is equal to root three over three. And then we can write that down there, root three over three. So that, even though it was the hardest part of the question, uh, was worth five marks after the adjustments were made. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.